Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering a question from the uh, Solomon G collection of um, C4, which is now known as P4, Pure Mathematics P4, from the International A Level at Excel uh, collection. And this is also from my endotopic worksheet number six, Integration 2, uh, question 10 from that worksheet. And here we're told um, about this curve, which is defined with these parametric equations x equals 2 cubed, t cubed, sorry, plus 1, and y equals 2 over t, where t is greater than 0. The shaded region is bounded by the curve, the x-axis, and the lines x equals 2 and x equals 9. Find the area of the shaded region. So basically, when we want to find the area under a curve, we need to integrate. And to integrate, what we have to do is we have to integrate the function y with respect to x between the limits of which we have to integrate so that's x equals 9 and x equals 2 between those limits now because we're given the equation in cartesian in this parametric form and not in cartesian form so what the normally the easiest thing to do is for us to um do the following to kind of use a chain rule in a way it's kind of based on the chain rule to change this so that we can integrate with respect to the third parameter here, which is t. So this equation is defined in terms of x in terms of t and y in terms of t. So I'm going to now do the following. You can, it's, it's a very nice little way that you can deal with also when we're doing integration with substitution. So our, our objective is to find y dx, uh, integrate y with respect to x. So we, we write y times dx dt dt. This is essentially the same as y dx. But now we're going to integrate all of this with respect to t and we'll have our limits now in terms of t. Okay, so now what we have to do is we have to write in place of y, what y is in terms of t, which you already have, in, in place of dx dt, whatever dx dt is, then we integrate all of that with respect to t with the limits, but the limits must be in terms of t. Now right now these limits are in, in terms of x. So we know when x equals 9, Okay, we can say that you want to find what t is. Well, we've got t cubed plus 1, therefore will equal 9, because t cubed plus 1 is equal to x. So t cubed is going to be 9 minus 1, which is 8. Therefore, t is 8. So I know that t, uh, when x equals 9, this is going to be 8. So that's t2. I've called it t2 here. So t2 is 8. So this is going to be 8 there. And we know that when x is equal to the other value, which was 2, we got t cubed, so that's t1, cubed plus 1 is equal to 2. So t cubed is equal to 1. So therefore, t1 is equal to 1. The cube root of 1 is 1. So I know that this is equal to 1. So now I know my limits that I have to integrate between 1 and 8. y is, as we're given there, 2 over t. Next thing we need to find is dx dt. So we see x is equal to t cubed plus 1. And we know that the x dt is equal to 3t squared. So this 2 over t times 3t squared. So there's our y and our dx dt. I have to integrate the respect to t. So we're almost there now. We can just simplify this a little bit. So we have 8 and 1. t is cancel. You're left with 6 times t because the, the squared will cancel with the t there. And you've got with respect to t. So if we integrate this with those limits, we have 6t squared over 2. Add 1 to the power, divide by the power, which gives us 3t squared. And then we just put the limits in. So we have 3 times 8 squared minus 3 times 1 squared. That gives us 3 times 64 minus 3. So we have 3 times 64 minus 3, which gives us um, 189. So that's 189. Um, and the unit squared, you could say. So there's the answer to part A of this question. That's the, that's the area of the shaded region. Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. And here is a question from one of the Solomon G papers from the old C4 collection. And this is about integration. This is a question that's included in my P4 um, Excel endotopic worksheet 
uh, number six, integration two. This is question number 10 from that worksheet, question number seven from Solomon G. Paper. And here we have um, a parametric equation. Okay, so we have a curve defined by the parametric equations x equals t cubed plus one and y equals two over t, where t is greater than zero. The shaded region bounded by the curve, the x-axis and the lines x equals two and x equals nine. All right, and we have to find the area of the shaded region. So we're starting off with basically our objective, which is to find the area under this curve, um, you know, until the x-axis. So as we should know, the area under the curve is given by the integral of the equation of the curve with respect to x um, within those limits. Okay, so our limits here for, in terms of x are 2 and 9. So what we have to do is we have to now rewrite this in such a way that we can integrate with respect to t and have the same answer. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with y dx, but we'll kind of use a chain rule. So I'll say y dx dt dt. So this will give me the same result as this, except I need to integrate with respect to t and express all of these in terms of t. Now that means I need to have some new values of t. Okay, so I need to use the fact that x equals t cubed plus 1. And I know that when x is equal to 9, I've got t cubed plus 1 equals 9, which means that t cubed equals 8, so t is equal to 2. So that's the value here. That's going to be a 2. When x is 9, t is 2. All right, so I've, I've called that t2. Let me call it t2. And when x is equal to 2, we've got t1 cubed plus 1 is equal to 2. So t1 cubed is equal to 1, therefore t1 is equal to 1. So we have these limits now. So we now have our limits, okay, between 1 and 2. Now we're going to write y with, we're going to replace the y with what y is in terms of t. So we have y equals 2 over t. So this y is going to be replaced by 2 over t. And then I need to find what dx dt is. Now we know x is equal to t cubed plus 1. So if we differentiate with respect to t, dx dt is 3t squared. So I'm going to replace the, the x dt here with 3t squared. And that's it. I have to integrate with respect to t. So now let's simplify this a little bit before we start integrating. This is going to become the integral between the limits of 2 and 1. Now the t's cancel out and I've got left with 6. So 6t with respect to t, which when I integrate that, now, when you start integrating, of course, you stop writing the integral sign. 6t squared over 2 between the limits of 2 and 1, which gives you 3t squared. Okay, just to simplify first. Now we put the limits in, so I have 3 times 2 squared minus 3 times 1 squared, which is giving me 3 times 4, which is 12. So 12 minus 9, which is, sorry, 12 minus 3, which is 9. Jumping the gun there. 12 minus 3, which is 9. And so there's the answer to part A of this question, which is about basically um, basic integration involving parametric equations. Okay, so now part B of this question is based on the same question, same equation, but now we've got to find the volume of this solid as it revolves around the x-axis. So if it revolves around the x-axis through two pi radians, meaning 360 degrees, one whole revolution, you're going to have a solid that's formed. And there's a few videos that you'll see in the playlist of the volumes of revolution where I've given you an animation and show you exactly how this works. But basically, this is whole shape is revolved around the x-axis, leaving us with a solid, three-dimensional solid, made up of you know this kind of shape. And as we discussed in those videos that you can watch, you'll be able to see that one of these you can you can consider a small slice okay of this solid as a cylinder with radius this distance which is y and thickness a small amount in x so if i want to find the volume of that small thing it's like a small tiny bit of volume we call it dv it's equal to <coughs> y times dx if i want to add up all those cylinders from 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 two to nine then I integrate between 2 to 9, okay, um, basically y, so dv is pi y squared dx, sorry, let me just start that bit again, sorry, 
We know that the volume, the, the radius of this is y, and we know that the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h. So if the, the radius is, is like y, then you're going to have the volume, or the small tiny slice of volume is pi times, instead of radius, y squared times dx. Okay, that's the volume of this small cylinder, really thin solid cylinder of thickness um, x. So the formula for this, for the whole volume between 2 and 9, would be the sum of all of these little cylinders, which we can say is the integral, means the sum of all the cylinders between 2 and 9 of pi y squared dx. So the formula for the volume of revolution of a area around the x-axis is pi times integral of y squared with respect to x. I, I like to write the pi outside between the two limits on the x-axis. So if we, if we basically relate this to our situation here, the volume would be pi times. Now, the thing is, here again we have this in terms of t. Just like we saw in the earlier situation, we have these things in terms of t. So what we do is a very similar thing as what, you, what we just did. So we, we want to find y squared dx, but we don't have things in terms of y. So we write y squared d, dx dt dt. Right, this is like uh, using the chain rule to re rewrite this in such a way that we can have things in terms of t's. So we already worked out that our limits 2 and 9 in terms of t are 1 and 2. Okay, we worked that out already from the first part of the question. So now what we have to do is just replace the y with what y is equal to and the x dt with what the x dt is equal to and we will get the volume. So we have pi times between 2 and 1. Now y is 2 over t, so this is going to become 2 over t all squared. Now dx dt, as we, as we worked out in the last page, is 3t squared. So I'm going to have times 3t squared and dt. So the volume is going to be pi times integral between 2 and 1. Now this is going to give you 4 over t squared times 3t squared with respect to t. So this comes out to be something that looks very simple actually because you have pi 2 and 1 and the t squares cancels out so you're left with 12 with respect to t. So that gives you the integral of 12t. No, sorry, that gives you 12t. Okay, pi times 12t. If you integrate 12 with respect to t, you get 12t. So now we simply have to put t, 2 and 1 in, in there. So we have the volume is equal to pi times. We have 12 times 2 minus 12 times 1, which is obviously going to give you basically just 12, because 24 minus 12. So you end up with 12 pi units cubed. And there's the answer to question number 2. And they've told us here, to show that it becomes 12 pi, and that's exactly what we found. So we know that we are we are correct here in part B. Okay, so it, it's actually a very easy integration it becomes after you didn't done that. And that's the answer to part B. Now for part C, it says find a Cartesian equation for the curve. So we got x equals t t cubed plus one. And we have y equals two over t. All right, so now we want to find a Cartesian equation. And what that means is we want to have the equation y in terms of x. y equals some function of x. We want to eliminate the t from our equation. So we could do this in a number of ways. Um, probably the easiest way to do it is to re rewrite the second equation and write this as t equals 2 over y and replace the t here with 2 over y. So we have x equals... Um, yeah, 2 over y, all cubed, plus 1, which gives you x equals 8 over y cubed, plus 1. Okay, and then what I can do is um, I can uh, subtract 1 from both sides, so x minus 1 equals 8 over y cubed. So therefore, you can say y cubed is equal to 8 over x minus 1, which means y is equal to, if you take the cube root of both sides, you have 2 over the cube root of, x minus 1. So that is a Cartesian equation of um, the curve in the form y equals some function of x. So you just have to eliminate the t from the equation. In this case, I found it easier to do this. We could have also said t cubed equals x minus 1, and that would have probably been easy, actually, because then y equals 2 over, and we're going to have, um, you know, we can see that t, let's replace that with t, that's going to be the cube root of x minus 1. That's probably easier.
it would have been easy to do it that way okay but no problem i did the same thing in another way so we could have made this t the subject by calling t equals the cube root of x minus one and replace that t with it of course we get the same answer in both cases so it really doesn't make a difference so that's pretty simple just re just rewrite the equation eliminating the t from it by using substitution and uh, substituting it out leaving you with y in terms of x so there's your answer to this question okay that completes the whole of this question it wasn't that difficult really um, but you have to understand this technique of uh, using integration with parametric equations so basically it's it's the chain rule that we're kind of like using so we want to find y squared dx y squared the integral of pi y squared dx so we, we only have things in terms of t so we're going to say pi y squared dx d d t okay i mean we could have started with part three and integrated according to this but that would have made life a lot more difficult to integrate this with respect to x is a bit more difficult than doing this so you know, you know normally you know you should deal with it if they gave you in parametric form with parametric kind of methods of integration that normally will make life easier for you okay so i hope that was clear now other questions from um this particular worksheet this particular um solomon g paper from p4 can be found in the playlist that will appear at the top here other questions from this worksheet the endotopic worksheet number six integration two can be found in the playlist that will appear in this region over here other questions from integration from p4 of edexcel in this playlist and you can watch this video here which will tell you how to use my channel uh, to find things that you might be um, you know interested in watching whether it's from edexcel a level or um, cambridge a level or from igcse Thank you for watching and see you soon.